Hi, my name is James Patterson and welcome to this video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to boost a sky in your landscape, particularly on flat looking landscapes like the one I have in front of me. The sky is looking quite nice but it could, could do with a little bit more punch. So we're going to add a few adjustment layers and end up with something that looks a little bit like this. So let's start by opening up our sky before JPEG into Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to go and do is in my layers palette, if I click on my adjustment layer icon here and choose curves, this will give me a new adjustment layer. I want to drag down on my curve to darken the sky. I'm not really worried that the landscape itself is going too dark here. I'm just worried about the darkness of the sky because we can mask that land out in the next step. So something like that looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to work on my layer mask of the adjustment layer and try and mask out this land. The easiest way to do that is to use the gradient tool, which I can click on over here in my toolbox. And I'm going to choose a simple black to white gradient and make sure that the first option is set up here. And then if I draw a line between the sky and the land, that will mask out part of the darkened area the curves creating. So I'm going to hold shift while I do this. This will give me a vertical line so that works kind of in parallel to the horizontal line of the landscape. So if I hold shift and drag up, you can see how that's giving me a nice gradation between the darker areas in the sky and the land. You can see how that's working on the layer mask over here. The next step, I'm going to add some blue to the sky just to give it a little bit more punch. I can do that again with an adjustment layer. Let's cl click on my adjustment layer icon again. And this time I'm going to go to color balance and just add a little bit of cyan, maybe 15, and then add some blue as well, maybe 30. I can see again that my land is going a little bit too too blue, so I'm going to add another layer mask that will mask some of that out in, in the land while still keeping it in the sky. I could go ahead and draw another gradient on this layer to, that's the wrong way, so this way to mask out the land like this, but a very simple shortcut that's quite useful, if I hold Control or Command and Alt, I can just drag that layer mask to the layer mask above replace mask yes and, and you can see that's copied my layer mask like so I also just want a little bit of that blueness to show through into the sand and the rocks here so I'm going to do that using my masks palette here and this gives you options to alter the characteristics of your mask I want to just bring the density back I'm going to bring that back to about 70 percent and then you can see how that's faded the mask to a grey colour there, which is allowing some of some of the uh, colour balance that we altered to show through onto the background layer. So I think we're nearly there. I've, I've just noticed in the top hand, top right hand corner over here, you can see as the sun's coming from kind of this area, the sky is lighter here than over to the left of the image. So. We can adjust that by adding another curves layer. So I'm going to go and create a curves layer again. And let's just drag it down. I'm just trying to get this area here to look the same as this area. Sorry, this area here to look like this area here. So let's drag that down. Something around about there looks good. And I'm just going to draw another gradient, but this time at an angle. And hopefully that will allow me to darken that right hand side of the sky. So let's draw a gradient and see how it looks. That's the wrong way around. So let's draw the gradient the other way, so like this. And you can see how that gradient's working to darken that area. Maybe you can play around until you get it ex looking exactly how you want it to. So that looks pretty good to me. You can also adjust the opacity of a layer mask, which is a useful feature. So you can bring that down until it's kind of looking even like something like that. That looks pretty good to me. So there we have it, a few simple steps to give your skies a much needed boost. 